G'day and welcome back to our videos on learning how to carve your multi-sport kayak. This is the second video on edging. In part one we discussed how to edge and we practiced what we call static edging, which is edging on the spot without the boat moving forward. Now that we've mastered this and we've developed level one, two and three edging, now we're going to look at paddling while on edge. So before getting into this we want to be fully warmed up go for a paddle, also do some static edging that we did in the last video. Remember which muscles we're using to engage that edge. It's rotation, lifting a knee and holding a crunch on one side. So what we're going to do this week is get the boat up to speed with some good forward stroke technique. Once the boat's up to speed we're going to use a little bit of rudder to make the boat turn in a wide arc. As the boat starts to turn you're also going to turn your belly button to the inside of the arc and this will allow you to lift the outside knee. You'll notice the boat comes onto edge. We're looking for about level two edge here. Hold a steady edge on level two and keep paddling. You'll notice that the inside edge will grip the water and track you along in a smooth, wide carve. Our goal is to maintain this carve with a steady edge and keeping our speed up in a big circle. Do as many circles as you can on the same side until you start feeling a burn in the outside of your abdominals and then switch to the other side so that you can do both. You'll need to repeat these circles a lot to get really comfortable on edge. We're looking for about 10 on one side and 10 on the other before moving on to the next drill. Once you're comfortable holding a steady edge doing just circles, we're going to add in some edge changes. So instead of drawing a circle on the lake, we're going to draw a really big figure eight. Every time the boat curves, we're going to turn that into a carve by lifting the outside edge. We want to make sure that when we're transitioning from one edge to the other, this happens smoothly and slowly. So that we're going from one edge lifted to a flat boat to the other edge lifted in a smooth motion. Once you're happy paddling on edge in a circle and in a figure eight, it's time to get creative. So we're going to paddle around the lake looking for as many things to carve around as we can. Boys, the edge of the lake, obstacles in the water. We need to snake our boat around the lake and around our flat water locations as much as possible. I don't think multi-sport paddlers spend enough time paddling the boat on edge. So let's get plenty of time paddling our kayak on edge and start focusing on this thing called separation, which is that can you paddle the boat very still on edge while generating good speed and power through the top half of your body. You're thinking about cutting your torso in half so that the top part is generating power through good forward stroke technique and the bottom half is edging the kayak rock solid. So remember, whenever we're carving the boat on flat water, we're going to get some speed up, we're going to turn the boat using the rudder and we're going to lift that outside edge, pulling our belly button to the inside of the turn. Then we're going to focus on separating our lower half from our top half by paddling strong through the top half but not letting that paddling affect our edge control. The boat stays rock solid on level 2 edge through the full carve. Do hundreds of circles, hundreds of figure eights and you'll feel really solid on edge for when we go to the river. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how you get on.